the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Pilots will tell you that the lighter a plane is, the easier and faster it can fly. Is that true? The heavier a plane is. In fact, there are times that based on the size of the plane, they can reduce the luggage down so that it does not affect it at flight. Seeing then that we are surrounded by this so great a cloud of witnesses, it says, let us lay aside every weight and the sin that doth easily beset us and to run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Hear this. Who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. Is it in your Bible? Who endured the cross? And despised the shame. There is endurance when it has to do with being a master and a giant you watch these olympians and you see what they do watch these boxers the world champion in everything sometimes you see them in the morning in a country that has ice and snow and you see them walking out they are sweating but they are walking out with awards in their house yet they are walking out and you are asking what else are you looking for that is what it takes to remain there can I tell you, whatever brings you to the place of grace is what will maintain. You will even need greater weights of it. You see all these boxers, boxing all these things around. And you are saying, these guys, don't you go and relax and do this. I like to watch champions in action. It inspires me. When you watch a master communicator, maybe speaking in an occasion or so and you see how these people they, they use english and i mean dominion over words they can capture your attention with uncanny mastery go and check what they do that led to that result you will go to their homes and see videos and dictionaries they go back to school again and learn english in their homes abcs and train themselves with discipline while others are sleeping go and ask the chef what makes him so exceptional that one meal one meal can be as much as a thousand dollars one plate what is in the plate find out respectfully speaking even our dear politicians whether you win or lose you are going to go through the labor of going around publicizing and doing all of these things that is some serious effort there Go and ask some of the wealthiest CEOs around the world. You will see them in office over time. Even when those they have employed have gone home, some of them will be there. They may sleep in the office. Sacrifice. It is only when it comes to the body of Christ that we just believe that because Jesus has done everything, we just throw it away and just assume that it's at work in my life. But you see that the results don't show, dear people of God. It's why the church remains powerless is why the church remains and for many people all we know about sacrifice is praying and fasting and study of the bible so the moment i'm praying the moment i'm fasting the moment i'm studying scripture i just believe that i'm going through the sacrifice for greatness not so believe me there is something beyond prayer fasting bible study it is you being the living sacrifice upon that altar lord i have lost the ability to tell you no what you desire is my desire if you tell me go left left i go if you tell me go right right i go whatever you tell me that is it for me if you tell me leave ministry that is it if you say go back to ministry that is it have you gotten to that point believe me if you get to that point you will see something about god god will brand his hand upon your life in a way that will cause your world to marvel 
this teaching tonight is leaving you with two options one to continue doing christianity the way you are used to doing it or to say i take god seriously from this teaching tonight i may not know all it takes but this one law that i've found i have heard for some of you for the first time others a reiteration i'm going to subscribe let nothing and no one be so great in my life that it takes the place of god if that becomes your prayer and you mean it with all your heart you will count testimonies like the sons of the seashore because your life you things you prayed for and the ones you did not pray for you become a friend of god let's pray don't forget what i have told you that in this season i discern very strongly that the giver of all good things is coming to his body again and there will be strange distribution of new things god is going to come to believers there are people who will be enthroned at higher levels a thousand cubit is about to be measured over many believers and some will shift into deeper levels of power some will shift into deeper levels of influence some will shift into deeper levels of wealth make sure you subscribe for what god is doing through sacrifice so that you don't become part of those pointing fingers at people and saying don't mind them it's like they are just lucky or no 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 you must make up your mind is someone ready to pray I give you two three minutes alone with god before we do a general prayer please no distraction let's respect what god is doing i want you to cry before the god of your salvation lord purge my heart purge my heart bring me to a point of total surrender may nothing be too much to give you may nothing be too much to hand over to you you gave me everything the grace to give you everything all our viewers make sure you are praying crying to the god of heaven who are striving for mastery and in addition to understanding the ministry of prayer and its capacity to build the believer we must understand death death to your ego death to your reputation especially make sure you pray lord this my ego this my reputation take it out of the way i desire to serve you acceptably my passion for titles my passion for name my passion for this and that take it out of my life i want to see you exalted that is all i desire jesus exalted jesus enthroned enthroned him beyond your business enthroned him beyond koinonia enthroned him beyond joshua selman Lord, we exalt you, we enthrone you. Purge our hearts, purge our hearts, purge our hearts, purge our hearts. Grant us the grace. Let nothing, let no one, let no lifting be able to take your place in our lives. That which you want is what we also want. Go ahead and pray. Speak to him. You're contending for power with God. Lord, I love the ministry, but I exalt you above it. I love the business, but I exalt you above it. I love my wife, my husband, my children, but I exalt you above them. I love the visions you are giving me, boy. I exalt you above them. One more minute. You are praying to the God of heaven. The one secret behind the strange liftings of men the one secret of the kingdom behind the mighty and the marvelous hand of God over the life of an individual you will see God arise for you in ways that will surprise you 
he will give you even the desire of nations because you would have become his friend hiding no secret from you opening you to deep truths in the spirit empowering you in unusual dimensions wisdom beyond the realm of men hallelujah 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 listen when the lord began to speak to me about the thing he's doing in the body of christ in this season how that he's distributing newer and greater levels of grace god is trusting people with wealth you have never seen see let me tell you this this is not going to be about business alone i understand principles of value but this one is god trusting people seeing that i my last treasurer betrayed me that i'm still looking for more and now you are saying lord i will be a faithful steward and god will give you what is equivalent to the wealth of nations there are levels of anointings that will make men will walk like gods upon the earth it is true that their words become like the word of god spectacular manifestations of his power that you look at them you know that this is a man backed by a strange altar with blood dripping on it that we will stop being storytellers in the body of christ and indeed we will be proof producers even by the spirit the secret beyond fasting beyond prayer is death there is nothing in my life today i submit to you by the grace of god that i cannot give god there is nothing in my life today that i cannot drop at the altar nothing the worst that can happen to me in this life is that i die and even in death we have cheated it already in victory please everyone in one more minute before i pray for you i want you to rededicate your life again i'm not insulting you i know your spiritual experience but rededicate your life afresh don't say i'm not a sinner i'm not rededicate your life lord i hand it is a handover service again Shida shila saba zupra di kateski ana hasia. Krate balika dasige de bela haski anda bragatus katia. Impreke shabarakus kadila barante kapriata hasia. I rededicate my life. I rededicate my life. I rededicate my heart. Everything. one more minute just, just pour your i rededicate everything for some of you you are even saying lord let's start afresh again i don't know the name of what i've been doing but i can i can i can be sure by this message that i've not been serious lord i'm willing to start afresh again it's better to start afresh than to keep roaming around in pride and ignorance I can start afresh. We're wrapping up. That's why you came to church. Rededicate yourself. Hallelujah. Now listen to me. Let me tell you this. I don't mean to insult you, but the way many of us live our lives, it is proof that we do not yet acknowledge the authority of Jesus over our lives. We are the masters of our own will. You do anything you want to do. No. He that strives for mastery is temperate in all things. Are we together? You cannot live your life anyhow. Anything that just comes into your mind, you do it. No. It's not done that way. And I know when you speak like this, most people feel, oh, this is a liberal society where, well, you can choose to believe what you want to believe. But I am telling you, if it is the God of the Bible you want to walk with, it says the love of God constrains us. Hallelujah. 
are we together so don't don't try to modernize christianity don't try to modernize i've told you i'm both new and old school it depends on what you are calling old and what you are calling new nobody leaves what works this is a word of caution because thank god for westernization thank god for technology but many of us have become victims of these things there is an an unusual lust for comfort and lawlessness and liberty that is there is no constraint anything goes it's a social world i tell you you will not do business with god that way i don't insult your pedigree the choice is yours but if it is the god of heaven you must be prepared to go back and say lord i am ready to subscribe to the constraint that brings mastery even in the secular those who are champions are constrained there are many things they want to do but they are not given the liberty to by reason of what they seek who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross be careful many of us are jumping into all kinds of things no restraint no constraint no nothing you don't care after all i'm just a christian after all this one will happen i don't study my bible i don't care i don't pray i don't care no nothing oh i'm a christian i just come to church no sir no sir all those who have written history that we are we, we we are benefited from them today go and find out the price that they paid i'm speaking to us one more minute before we pray i have to tell you this because most believers you don't like hearing what i'm saying but i love you most times when you say things like this believers become offended because they feel you just preach and leave me to live my life anyhow i promise you by god whether it's god or satan you are serving you live your life anyhow you will not go far with any of them constrain is related to mastery you must be able to constrain yourself can you pray that one prayer lord grant me the grace that i will be able to constrain my life for the sake of the place you are taking me to relationships you need to cut away from people you need to cut away from things you need to cut away from he that strives for mastery is not crowned unless he strives lawfully Le leviticus chapter 9 and verse 6 says this is the thing that the lord command that you should do and the glory of the lord shall appear to you whether you are lying down kneeling let me just speak over your life you don't have to lift your hands just believe and take it by faith in the name of jesus christ i pray and i declare over your life the power to lay it down i decree and declare may that grace be imparted upon you now the power to lay down not just your finances to lay down your ego to lay down your intellect to enthrone christ above anything and everyone in your life may that grace rest upon you now in the name of jesus christ and i pray for you there are many of you who by prophecy you are supposed to have entered certain realms realms of mastery realms of prosperity realms of advancement but simply because you have not subscribed to this sacrifice of total surrender you have not given god a chance to move you by reason of your surrender tonight may god speedily bring you into those realms in the name of jesus christ anyone and anything in your life that will not allow you to surrender wholly to god i take them out of your life in the name of jesus christ and i pray for you whoever has laughed at you based on your sacrifice and your dedication towards god in the name of jesus help them please i pray by the power that raised christ from the dead may god use the strange results you will bring upon your life to answer them back hallelujah 
I remember many years ago watching Reinhard Bonke on that crusade ground. I was already saved. But I watched him. I followed his ministry very carefully. And I saw times when he started getting old. I remember the last time he came for his crusade in Lagos. As though he knew it would be his last. The day they said he had gone, I said, my God, this man was once alive and now he's gone. Hear me? There are people who were alive as of January this year. Some have gone. In fact, there were those who were alive yesterday. I will never mean you evil. And as far as my assignment is concerned, I will keep speaking life so that you will have that body healthy and prepared to leave your assignment. But can I tell you, it is not a wise way to fear death. The purpose of longevity is not the fear of death. The purpose of longevity is the time and the enablement to fulfill the purposes of God given to you. Look at me. I want you to kill the fear of death this night. To be absent in the body is to be present with the Lord. And if he comes, hallelujah, die in the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, die in the glory. Revive us again. Before we pray, we're going to have three minutes of intercession. That will be our corporate gift as a ministry to the Lord Jesus at this Easter. To say, Lord, the least we can do is to intercede for the next two minutes for souls. But before we do that, I want to make an altar call. While you are still seated, there's no point playing games. Can I tell you, if you take seriously what I'm saying, God can give you a chance to make it right. I don't need to cajole you. No matter how stubborn your spirit is, the Holy Ghost must have penetrated it to tell you that this issue of life and destiny, this is it. You are saying, Apostle, while I'm seated here, I cannot say for sure that if I die today, it is heaven. There are others who are saying, if Jesus comes, I may be part of the many you are saying will be left behind. I don't mean to scare you, but listen to me. I'm going to count one to three give your destiny a chance win that war or you are saying apostle i think i remember making this call but as it is my life has gone haywire i came to church i don't want to play games i want you to run and come and stand here nobody will force you but on that day there used to be a song we used to sing before um what's the song now on the last day on, on the last day only true believers on the last day only true believers on the last day And I tell you, if you know you are going to hell, run out and come and stand here. Don't do big manism for your eternal destiny. No, it is not a wise choice. Apostle, I'm not sure. Join them and be sure. There is such a thing called the assurance of salvation. Don't mind all the naysayers who are saying you are coming out. It's better to come out five times and be sure than to sit back in assumption and go to hell. come to jesus come to him once and for all come to him everyone you see who is not coming out must have made this decision so there is nothing embarrassing about it if you are coming all the overflows please make sure you stand there we are going to intercede but i thought to do this so that i get it out of the way quickly please come Apostle, I've been going to church. I confess that I've been one of the people laughing at preachers. Don't worry, we forgive you. God loves you. Join them. Join them. You have to be saved. After this, you can now say Happy Easter and really believe what you are saying. 
there is nothing happy about the easter to a soul that is determined to be damned Thus will we pass from the earth and its toiling. Only remember by what we have done. Come, I'll give you one more minute. I know there are so many people, but there is still room. There is still room come to jesus and those of you who are sitting you shouldn't be looking you should be praying because we are from this altar call now we're going to get into praying just five minutes if you cannot invest five minutes of your intercessory ministry for souls you are not a lover of god there's no need hurrying anywhere i want to pray listen to me those of you who are here please look at me the idea is not to scare you but the idea is to leave you with the truth jesus died and rose you took all my guilt and shame when you died and rose again now today you reign in heaven and earth exalted i really want to worship you my lord you have won my heart and I am yours forever and ever. I will love you. You are the only one who died for me, gave your life to set me free. So I lift my voice to you in adoration. May I please request, I know that there are so many of you, some of you are crying. There's no need to cry. Someday, because of this decision you have made, we will have another kind of koinonia. Not in this place. Do you know there is another fellowship? I know there is another lift your right hand please say after me all of you you may cry but say it jesus is here let him hear you in one minute please say after me from the depth of your heart say lord jesus i come to you tonight just as i am unable to help myself i have heard your word tonight i need you say it again i need you in my life i need the power of resurrection in my spirit i confess you as my savior the one who died for me as my lord the one my allegiance is towards and as my king the governor of my destiny i receive eternal life into my spirit and i declare that as jesus defeated sin the grave death and hell i also by this confession i declare my my victory over sin over hell over death over the grave i declare that i have eternal life the resurrection power now lives within me i am a child of god victorious on earth and victorious even after this life in jesus name i pray amen and amen let me pray for you father by their confessions of faith i decree and declare that indeed they not only have salvation but they have the assurance of salvation let nothing ever pluck them from your hand in the name of jesus lord you will save them you will keep them you will establish them now i pray for you the fear of death and doubt whether you belong to jesus or not i command that thought to leave your destiny forever 
let me remind you that you are not saved just by what you have done no man is able to save himself by the works of the law it is vanity and it is vain you are only saved because you believe in this reality that jesus came he walked upon the earth he died went to hell defeated hell death sin and the grave resurrected triumphantly and now he lives and abides forever now hear me please ladies and gentlemen let me encourage you make up your mind to continue to pursue that which makes for your spiritual establishment even as you have done the house of god is where we are built where we are established it's not just going to church like coming to be a member of a church it is more than that it is being planted in the house of god so that you will flourish in the courts of our god now there are a number of you um and i know that a number of you are rededicating your lives to christ i presume counselors you can manage both sets those who are making their decision the first time you can group them so you spend more time those who are rededicating their lives because of the crowd i'm not sure that because we have to get into a prayer session now so you can just pray so that they can return back to their seats there are so many people and so that it can ease up the work for the counselors our focus primarily now as far as follow-up is concerned is those who are saved for the first time so let me encourage you as you go those who are this is the first time you are making this decision it's an opportunity for you they will ask you to be grouped somewhere else please move there so they can just speak a word of prayer for those who are rededicating their lives and then they rush back are we together but for now may i request that you please move to my right which is your left let's celebrate them a number of them okay we are splitting into two right from where i'm standing all those who are here please go this way and then the remaining go that way thank you we're helping to manage because of the number of people let's celebrate them as they go hallelujah now our time is up in the next five minutes we're going to is this is our corporate gift tonight to the lord jesus i want you to think of at least two or three people you know who are not saved it could be your loved ones it could be someone and let's cry as a family of faith and say lord they will not go to hell not when we are here if you don't have anyone to pray for pray in the spirit please pray there has to be someone in your life some relative somewhere some unbeliever somewhere and those of you who are viewing following here is your chance to intercede pray for someone's eternal destiny lord that they will not be lost don't be tired lord in the name of jesus we decree and declare from the north to the south east to the west we pray for the unreached we pray for the unsaved we pray for missionaries we pray for men and women who are out there in the field crying for souls in the name of jesus strengthen them lord we pray that you save to the uttermost as a global family of faith we bring to you as a gift our intercession over the lost lord save them we release angels bring them to the foot of the cross pray for your father pray for your mother pray for your brothers and sisters pray for your colleagues in the office pray let a fire of salvation engulf africa nigeria europe pray for europe pray for america pray for these regions that seem to be losing out 
in many ways lord revive them Pray. Shake parakatos kalibrande getebele kosiata. Lord, we pray for salvation. We pray for salvation. We intercede for the lost. Bring them to the foot of the cross. In the name of Jesus, we decree and declare that the power of resurrection will catch up with them. That they may know Jesus. They will pledge their lives and their days to your lordship. Lord, we intercede in the name of Jesus. hallelujah hallelujah let me add one more prayer point this one will be to you now you are going to pray and say father the power of resurrection let it speak in my life right now total victory lift your voice and pray the culmination of it will be when the trumpet blasts but there are measures of it that have been given unto us to experience right now Go ahead and pray the power of resurrection it must work in my life that power that raised christ from the dead someone is praying that i may know you and that i may walk in the power of your resurrection the power of resurrection bringing life and vitality to my body the power of resurrection keeping me alive all through the moments of my assignment hallelujah in the name of jesus up from the grave he arose with the mighty triumph o'er his foes he arose the victor from the dark domain and he leaves forever with his saints to reign he arose he arose hallelujah christ arose he arose he arose hallelujah christ arose last prayer point everything dead in my destiny because he arose i command you by the power of resurrection arise now open your mouth and begin to pray my health that is dead or dying arise now is someone praying because he arose from the grave everything locked up in the grave finances opportunities my destiny i command you by the power of resurrection like lazarus come forth new doors that will give me an opportunity to serve his majesty come forth go ahead and declare Please pray, please pray, please pray. Make meaning of your Easter. Because he arose, I decree and declare. I arise spiritually. I arise financially. I arise.
destiny wise i arise and every power of the grave every power of the grave every grave cloth over my life every grave cloth over my ministry are you praying every grave cloth over my family my children pray i command you give way right now i lose those grave clothes if he arose then i arise if he arose then i arise pray over every challenge in your life financial challenges health challenges because he arose i arise refuse to remain in the grave he is risen the doctrine of resurrection demands that like he arose you also arise same power that conquered the earth lives in me ah, lives in me your love that rescued the earth lives in me ah, lives in me prophesy over your destiny same power that conquered the earth lives in me Listen, I want to prophesy and declare and activate that power of resurrection. Now that you are still alive, there are still other things that are dead. And you can be alive and something around your life is now dead. I want to speak. Believe it. That in the name of Jesus, dead finances, let the power of resurrection cause you to come back to life now relationships come back to life now dead opportunities come back to life now dead health conditions hear me anyone here who is sick in your body and the devil is already trying to see that he deteriorates your body I command that dead organ to come back to life now dreams that God gave you but for some reason they have died it comes back to life now <laughs> giftings abilities that have died that God gave you to bring you increase to bring you significance I decree and declare they come back to life now I hear me anyone wearing any grave clothes in the realm of the spirit by the power that raised Christ from the dead I lose you now go free 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 in the name of Jesus hear me any family here represented that has a loved one that is not saved we release angels to those houses we release angels to those houses supernatural encounters through dreams and visions in the name of jesus christ hear me please anyone having dreams of untimely death 
you keep seeing yourself with dead people you keep seeing yourself dreaming or maybe prophetic words have been coming be careful i see you dying i want to declare to you by reason of the power of death nothing takes you until your assignment is over i repeat nothing takes you until your assignment is over two more prayers everyone here under the yoke of the spirit of fear you can't live your life freely because you are afraid what if i go out and i die what if i come and i die what if i take a plane and it crashes what if i go by road and something happens i command that spirit of death that comes through fear to live your life now in the name of jesus the works of your hands whatever has died hear the word of the lord i bring to you the resurrection power hear me if the grave could not stop jesus from coming back to life i transport anything that needs to come from the realm of the spirit into this physical realm by the resurrection power let it appear in your physical realm here hear me if jesus could leave one dimension into another then every blessing that you need locked up in the realm of the spirit i pull it down to manifest in the physical realm in the name of jesus say after me very loud and clear say in the name of jesus i decree and declare that i am a child of god born of the word and born of the spirit i believe that jesus walked upon the earth i believe he died i believe he was buried i believe he went to the place of the dead i believe he defeated satan sin hell and the grave i believe he resurrected by the glory of the father i believe that he ascended to heaven i believe he is seated at the right hand of the father making intercession for me i believe that i am victorious in this life and hereafter no more fear no more limitations no more anxiety i am victorious today and victorious always give jesus a big shout of praise hallelujah the bible says the righteousness of faith speaketh on this wise i want you to go back home today carrying that consciousness i am victorious don't let life bully you in life you are victorious beyond it you are victorious if he rose you will rise on that day but for now everything connected to you must rise to match up what has happened in the name of jesus christ hallelujah hold hands together final prayer and then we're done i am serving a living god his name is jesus christ he died and rose and gave me victory i have victory one more time from the depth of your heart i am serving a living god his name is jesus christ he died he died and rose and gave me victory i have victory now
now I can tell you happy Easter happy Easter means a victorious Easter that you commemorate with understanding that you are a victor and you remain a victor forever next week by the grace of God is a powerful miracle service for the month of April hallelujah we're going to take it in this vein and it's going to be a time of prayer sharing the word and ministering to the needs of people i will never be tired of ministering to the needs of people until the glory of the lord is revealed in your life in the name of jesus christ i want to sincerely listen we're wrapping up but listen to me i want to use this opportunity to sincerely appreciate everybody i may not do this all the time but i want you to know that i appreciate everyone for the labor of love and the efforts the sacrifices i'm amazed to know that sometimes from 10 o'clock people are already here and sitting patiently praying just to have one encounter i assure you of one thing your spiritual progress and the results that follow your pursuit will be evidence to all in the name of jesus christ at the end of the grace when we're done sharing please you greet one another and tell them happy easter and then you tell them you are victorious let's share the grace in fellowship any announcements i'm not sure there's any right so please don't forget don't come alone make sure at least two or three people come with you for the miracle service and by god's grace we'll work at starting five on the dot so that we can do well and then conserve the time the lord bless you this week is a blessed one for you indeed you will see the fruits of victory all the days of your life in jesus name i pray let's share the grace the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore amen surely good dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages, subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. the face of development lord grant me the discipline